All right, let's get started. So, quantum numbers are like an address to find an electron. So you're gonna have a, the most broad location, which is gonna be your country. Then you're gonna have the second most broad, which will be your state. And then you go into the city, right? And then you go into the street. All right. Now, now that we know that, we're gonna assign all of those. Your country, start with our country, which is our electron level. And that's gonna be represented by the quantum number, or excuse me, the letter N. And the name is principal. And this will tell us what shell number we're in. So we could have be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's the same thing as those periods on a periodic table. Those were good hints of what subshell you're going to be in. And next is L. L, you're going farther, you're learning what orbital type it is, and there's four orbital types, S, P, D, and F. And each of those orbital types has a value. S is zero, P is one, D is two, and F is three. Now we're going to keep going even further and we're going to go to the city of that electron. And the city of that electron is going to be the orbital subtype or its magnetic character, which is going to be represented by the letter M. As you can tell, these are abbreviated. And that M is going to be what orbital it's on. So S it look like this one orbital because but each orbital can hold two valence electrons two and so you use the like place it gets from positive how many places it would take it to get from positive to negative of that number it's easier drawn, oops, sorry, that's supposed to be a one, then it is set. All right, now, we're so close to trying to predict where that electron is. The last thing is our street. We've done this country, energy level, our state, which was our azimuthal, AKA the letter L, our city, which we just did, the magnetism, um, which was labeled M, and the street. Now the street is going to be that electron spin in the orbital, so it'll be characterized by the letter S. And now we're at the one of the easiest, in my opinion, S for spin. And that's literally just going to be plus one half or minus one half. And those are going to look like this. And we'll get to the rules of writing those in the next two example problems. Actually, before we moved on, I did not want to skip something. And that is under the L category, I like to say. And these letters um, inform a shape, or they connect with a shape. So S is going to be your sphere. 
and these are all 3D shapes, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to write on paper. And then P is going to be like um, parallel circles or parallel spheres, something like that. And then D is going to be, I like to think of it like a daisy. And then F is like another flower, but it's just way... larger it's like a double daisy all right here's two example problems i want everybody to get the periodic table out and pause now all right now now that you're paused you have to know what magnesium's um atomic number is and what its mass is which we know from a periodic table 12 and 24.3 okay so you have to make sure to start at 1s because there's a rule in chemistry called AFBA which means you always start at the lowest energy level and never ever fill orbitals up in pairs and what I mean by this is that's a pair and for the singular ones you do but once I get here I only fill the positive ones first and then I go back and follow the pairs with negatives and that is because in Hund's rule electrons will enter orbitals at the same energy level before they fill the orbital and then they're always going to be opposite opposite spin because of Pauli exclusion principle and that states that two electrons cannot exist in the same location so they must have opposing spins when they're in the same orbital. But anyways, we know it's 12, so that's 12 protons, and we're at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So now we're going to do the orbital, nah, excuse me. We're going to find the quantum numbers. So let's start with what we know, the state, or n. n is going to be 3. And then let's follow with L, which is the orbital, which we have S, which we know the value is 1. And then we're going to follow that one with its magnetism. Or, and we know that's going to be 0, because there's only one place right here, and S is is the value of zero and lastly we have the spin which ends is always that last electron so that'll be negative one half now let's try to do carbon everyone knows carbon 6 and 12 or 12.01 to be exact so we start with off ball which is 1s and then we do Hun's rule which is a negative after we follow that positive and we're following it with a negative due to poly exclusion so we have one two three four five six it will be done now we'll do it real fast we're not even supposed to have these letters usually if you're gonna look at an actual um, quantum number so two because we're in that energy level two one because P's value is one zero because if you look we're on its zero orbital and to finish it off we have a spin of plus one half because that's our last electrons positive arrow and so we know that's plus one half all right hope you all got it thanks for watching